So here we have the file which we want to be downloaded inside the browser. You can try using a file of very large size, to for more accuracy. First we are going to create an anchor tag, which when click will download the file in computer. But this will not be a normal downloading like IDM. When you click on this, the file will be saved in your computer in seconds. Because we would have already downloaded the file inside the browser. Give it a unique ID so it can be accessible in JavaScript. Add download attribute, and the value will be the name of file when saved in computer. Add a text to be displayed. Now in JavaScript, first create an Ajax object. And in order to download a file inside browser, we have to set the response type of Ajax to blob. By default, the response of Ajax is string, but we want the response to be downloadable file. Then we open the Ajax request. The method should be get, and this will be the name of file on server, and set the Ajax to be asynchronous. All modern browsers now recommends Ajax to be asynchronous and send the Ajax request. On ready state change will be called whenever the state of request changes. We need to call our function when request is completed. The request will be completed when the ready state is 4 and status is 200. And to get the downloadable file, we need to use the JavaScript built-in function. We use window for global variables, URL dot, create object URL. And inside it, we need to pass the response received from Ajax request. Note that we are not using response text, because the response type is blob. Now the object variable will be used to download the file, so we will set this as hypertext reference for anchor tag. Get this anchor tag by ID. And set the hypertext reference. To this object. And we also need to remove this object after few seconds for memory maintenance. We will remove this object after 60 seconds, so user must download the file within 60 seconds. And to remove the object, we need to call revoke object URL and pass the object in it. Now save the file, and wait for the file to be saved on server, since we are using FTP. So the download button is available, when clicked it will save the file without downloading from browser default download manager. It is because the file has already been downloaded using Ajax request. Now we need to show progress bar of download. So give a line break. Create a progress tag. Give it a unique ID, and set the default value to zero. To check the progress of Ajax request, we have an event called on progress. And this function received an event which tells the progress of Ajax request so far. First get this progress tag in JavaScript. Get element by ID. And this is the ID of progress bar. In this event, we have two variables, total and loaded. We will set the maximum value to total size of Ajax. And set progress value to the total amount of data currently transferred. I am testing it in incognito window, because the progress bar is displayed only for the first time when file gets downloaded. But in incognito mode, you can view the progress bar again. So the progress bar is being displayed correctly, the speed of bar depends on the size of file. Now we also need to show a text which tells the percentage of file downloaded. So create a span tag, give it a unique ID, 
and also get this span in JavaScript. To calculate the percentage of file downloaded, we need to apply some math. We will divide the size of file downloaded to the total size of file. And since the downloaded size will be less than the total size, so this will be below zero. So we will multiple this by 100 and we get the actual value. Now this will have decimal points too but we want to display the percentage in simple integers. So we will call the floor function from math object and it will return the integer value. And then we will set this value to span tag. And add the percentage sign with it. So now you can see the percentage of download along with progress bar. Last thing we will do, is to display the remaining time, just like in IDM. So create another span tag. Give it a unique ID. And get this node in JavaScript. The formula to get remaining time, is to divide the file downloaded to the total size of size. As the size of file is in bytes, so we first need to know the amount of data sent in one second. To calculate this time, we need to get the time when the download started. And in on progress, we need to get the current time. Then we will get the difference between current time and the time when downloading started. And since this time is in milliseconds, so we have to convert it into seconds by dividing by 1000. And we can get the bytes per second by dividing the size of file downloaded, by this duration. And similarly, we can convert this bytes into kilobytes, by dividing it by 1024. And we might also have decimal points in it, so we can convert it into integer using math.floor method. Then we can show this kbps value in span. And add the string, kilobytes per second. So now you can see that it is also displaying the amount of data transferred per second. The only thing remaining now is the remaining time. First we will get the total remaining time in seconds by subtracting file downloaded, from total size of file. And dividing that by bytes per second. Now this time is in seconds, but we need to show it in minutes too. For example, if its value is 90 seconds, then we must show 1 minute and 30 seconds. To get seconds, get will use the modulus operator, and it will return the remaining seconds. Similarly for minutes, we will simply divide it by 60. And also append that in span tag. You can convert these seconds and minutes into integer too.
So now you can see the progress bar, amount of data sent per second, and also the remaining time to download. When the file is fully downloaded, then you will see the download button will be enabled. It is because we are assigned hypertext reference to this anchor tag when the Ajax request is completed. When you click on it, it will be saved in computer without any delay. So that's it, that's how you can download the file inside your website and show progress bar and remaining time too. If you face any problem, feel free to ask in the comments section below.